Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of the FC Sports Podcast. I'm your host, Drew Grimes. Alongside me is Kyle Pearsall. And uh, we're going to get started today. Uh, quick update, though. Usually we have FC Sports to start off every week. Uh, there have been no FC Sports for this past week. However, next week, baseball tryouts start, which means baseball season will be starting soon. So we'll come with you or come to you with more updates next week. Also, next week will be our last show for two weeks oh, because yeah, of, we break. have spring break. And um, we'll have a lot of baseball after that time, too, yeah. probably. So, a lot of baseball, yeah. Um, Cracking down on March Madness. Mm-hmm. Which is starting Selection Sunday this weekend. But we'll get to that later, all right? Yeah. We'll start off now with Indiana men's basketball. So coming off a win against Michigan in overtime. Um, game should not have gone to overtime yeah. at all. Um, Honestly, I think Michigan should have beat us. They were playing. That game was way well. too close. Yeah, the game I mean, was way too close. We, I, th- I thought we should have won. Like, in general, just we should have won easily. We should have beat Iowa. There was a lot of shoulda, woulda, couldas at the end of the season. Should have lost to Purdue. Like, there was a lot of iffy games in there. I think though we've proved Purdue's weakness. Their yeah. guards. Yeah. Like, if they don't have their guards, they have nothing. So, uh, Purdue's actually playing right now against Rutgers. As yeah, they, they just started the second half. So. But uh, yeah, back to IU men's. Yeah. Um, you know, they play tonight. Um, Nine o'clock, late game. Yeah, on Fox, right? Uh, yeah, Fox. No, Big Ten Network. Big Ten. Okay. Well, Big Ten tournament, Big Ten Network makes sense. So uh, they play tonight at nine, as Kyle just said. Um, yeah. So IU is gonna play tonight. Purdue's playing right now. Big teams. IU got the bye actually, uh, yeah. being the three seed. So that's huge. Was Northwestern the two seed? Yes. Had to have been. Yeah, Northwestern was two, we were three, Michigan State was four, and obviously Purdue was one. Uh, we played Maryland. Maryland coming off a pretty pretty easy win against Minnesota. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't really th- I don't think anybody thought Minnesota yeah. stood a chance. Minnesota like, played their hearts out and beat Nebraska, which I think that was their win. They had to get that, but after that, it was like Maryland, ah, it's a little iffy game. I feel like this is a good revenge game for us because we did go to Maryland and we lost, mm-hmm. but Playing Maryland out Maryland is really hard, but now on a neutral court, uh, both fans are pretty far away. We're a little closer, but it's just going to be a neutral yeah. game. So it's which team comes out, performs, and IU has to show that they they can beat Maryland. You know, I think with this game too, I mean, we played Maryland really well in the first half, especially when we were at Maryland. And Maryland's a really hard, tough team to beat at home they all lost like what two at home this year yeah one something three, crazy yeah so you know being closer is gonna help a little bit yeah. but I think also just not having all their presence at their home yeah playing somewhere we might be more used to is gonna help a lot yeah so um sorry I just, I just saw a notification um from ESPN so but yeah um you know, Purdue playing right now with, against Rutgers. Uh, last time I saw Rutgers was winning Rutgers, by yep. one. So We'll see how that game turns out because that's going to be a big one, especially for Rutgers for their seeding and, honestly, if they even get into the tournament. I think they will get into the tournament. I think it's more seeding right mm-hmm. now for them. Also, I think this could go a long way without, I mean, with us. So, you know, if IU wins and keeps going, it'll – I mean, those two teams will be a big part in yeah. if we make it to the championship or if we win or not. Yeah, I really hope that we don't play a team that we've already beat two times. It's impossible to beat a three team three times. Literally impossible. So if we play Purdue again, I think we will lose to Purdue. But we've had Purdue's number this year. Yeah, I mean, beating a team three times is, is pretty great. That's that. yeah. really hard. But, you know, Rutgers, we've also not played really good against them. Yeah. We, uh, I think Trace Jackson Davis beat him his first time at home at IU. Like first time in his career, mm-hmm. which is pretty, which is pretty crazy. Cause I mean, Rutgers has had our number the past couple of years. Rutgers especially has had Purdue's number in the past couple of years too. I mean, Rutgers has pretty much owned been the Big Ten basketball. killers. Big Ten killers in general. Yeah. Um, All right, let's go back. Let's go back to Northwestern real quick. Northwestern is a surprising team this year. I did not expect them to be good at all. Yeah, no. I mean, I never saw them out of the gate. Coach, uh, they have in. coach of the year and assistant coach of the year for the Big Ten. Jalen Hachipino, yeah, got freshman of the year. Zach Eady got Big Ten Player of the Year. Trace Jackson Davis, Defensive Player of the Year, unanimous decision. Oh, he was? Yeah. Yeah, I, 
wasn't uh, that or, like Big Ten defensive team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was one for uh, Rutgers. Oh, I forget his name right now. Might have been. A, there was know. a Rutgers for Defensive Player of the Year, and then there was another one that I don't remember. I mean, I would love to have had Trace Jackson Davis be Big Ten Player of the Year, but I mean Zach. Eady Zach just, had a great year. He had a great year. He, he reminds me of Yao Ming. Yeah. He literally just reminds me of Yao Ming, giant monster in the post. Mm-hmm. He gets rebounds and points, and that's really all you could ask for from a Yeah, I don't really know how he's going to perform at the next level, though. That's going to be a tough one for him, because usually everybody like, everybody Ming, like that. Okay. I mean, injuries. I mean, he might get he's injured. He stayed healthy, though. Yeah, but he's 7'2", and he's playing against really... He played against Trace Jackson Davis, which was his 6'9". Like, that's a huge difference, but now he's going to go up against people who are 6'11". And Trace still did foot. really good against yeah. him. Yeah, you know? uh, 6'11", 7'0", foot at the next level. I don't know if he'll be able to, to, to compete. I mean, he and, and it's different basketball. He doesn't really have to jump to dunk or get rebounds, so he can just probably use his height to his advantage. If he does that the right way, then he'll be just fine, I think. So we'll move on from Indiana men's to Indiana women's basketball. And, um, Lost to Ohio State in that uh, Big Ten... Big Ten tournament game. That was, a, that was a really tough game. We're leading like 75, 74, yeah. whatever, with like 40 seconds left. And then Ohio State get the ball in, and then they hit some threes or whatever, and free throws, and that was the game from there. Uh, we will still probably be a number one seed. So oh, will yeah, Iowa, I think. Maybe even a two Iowa's seed. two in the nation now. Yeah, they are? Yeah, they yeah. jumped up So I think lot. Iowa, which is crazy that two Big Ten teams are going to be number one in the seeding, which is that that's amazing for Big Ten basketball. Speaking of Iowa, Caitlin Clark. Yeah, triple double. I think the, she should easily be Player of the Year. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think she should be number one of the draft. Yeah, I don't think it's close. No, the buzzer beater she had to beat IU. That was. And then, you know, she puts up triple doubles like every other game. Mm-hmm. She's insane. Yeah, absolutely great player. It, but it's so weird just watching her game because she looks like she's just chucking up shots. But every single one goes in. It's, mm-hmm. it's crazy to watch. Threes, mid range. She can drive to the anything. Hoop. Anything. She yeah. does. She does it all. I That's mean, gonna be a hard one in the tournament. Two v one. Us two. She wins. <laughs> Not gonna lie. She wins. I think anybody in the in D one basketball beats us two. <laughs> yeah, you're probably right <laughs> about that one. Okay, so uh, we're gonna get started with trivia here. Okay. Uh, we don't really have one planned, so <laughs> we did not have this plan before we started. That uh, who won the WBC last year, or not last the year? Last the last WBC. time it was played. WBC stands for World Baseball Classic. If you do not know, which is, it is currently right going now. on, um, pretty much every team plays tomorrow, Saturday. Um, U.S. plays at 9 p.m. against Great Britain, and it should be a easy win for us. But we'll talk more about that and with our we lost upcoming five segment. to one against with our the upcoming Giants. segment. We'll save the arguments for later. For now, we're gonna get back to the conference tournament games for all the conferences, not just the Big Ten tournament. But you have the ACC, you had the Mountain West, you have the Big Twelve, the Pac-12, and everything in between. So we're gonna start off here. Um, speaking of Rutgers and Purdue, Purdue now has a one-point lead, thirty-nine to thirty-eight. With 14 minutes left in the second half. Maryland plays Indiana tonight at 9. Um, and East Carolina is playing Houston right now. Uh, we can just keep going down here. Alabama yeah. is playing Tennessee, Missouri. That's going to be a good game. That's going to be a really good game. UConn, Marquette. Oh, my That's gosh. Be, I think... I don't think Marquette will be that good in the tournament. I would not tell, uh, would not pick them to go Speaking pretty of that far. Too, I'm not banging on Kansas. No, no, definitely not on Kansas. Duke Dutch. has turned up though. This they have, play, and so is Miami. Miami's the number. Miami's one doing great. Duke Miami's gonna be a great game. A bunch of great games today. Bunch of great games tomorrow. Sunday, obviously championship Sunday with selection Sunday. It's just gonna be good basketball. All around. UCLA, I have not heard of all year until like last week. Yeah. They have been a quiet team, but they're two in the nation right now. Yeah, they, they have been, been good. Quiet. Creighton Xavier, that's Vanderbilt a good game. Vanderbilt might make the NCAA tournament, Bandy, which is just 19 crazy and 13. to think. Kentucky's ranked again. I don't know that. TCU, Texas. Clemson, Virginia. Mountain West. Good game. Arizona yeah. State and Arizona. That's a rematch of last time. Oh, where Arizona State there. made Arizona the... State that was crazy. Arizona State the buzzer beater. The last second to knock off Arizona. Uh, and now with that concluding, we'll get to here to our last segment, the WBC World Baseball Classic. 
has begun. Yes, uh, I think it, it started. Did it start on Wednesday or Thursday? It started Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Uh, pool A and Pool B have already played some games. Netherlands and Japan both leading their respective pools. And last seeds are Panama and Korea. Doesn't look like Pool C or Pool D have played any no, both games are yet. Playing Saturday. Yeah. Saturday. So uh, Korea and China both 0 and 2. Korea 0 and 2 is weird to see. Yeah. Um, Cuba 1 and 2. Panama 1 and 2. Who fought their way into this tournament in general. I mean, they surprised me Honestly, coming in. The most surprising team. I didn't even hear about the Netherlands. And they have studs on their team. Xander Bogarts. I mean, I think they're pitching. Xander Bogarts, Jerkson Profar. Um, pitching looked really good in their game. I'm surprised I believe, they don't have Didi Gregorius. I believe they played Cuba. And they played they played Cuba really well. And won. Yeah. They beat two teams. They beat uh, Cuba and... Um, who else did they beat? I think they beat Panama. They beat Panama. Panama? Yeah. Sounds right. Because that was a highlight. I saw Xander Bogarts hitting you the home run in the mm. day game. Shohei Otani has been doing really good, I think. Japan in general has been yeah. doing great. Off that's to the start. That's just a scary Otani is going absolutely nuts right now. I was uh, watching this video uh, a little while ago, and it was just Japan. All, like, all that Japan team could make the MLB right now. Could go into the MLB. They just want to stay in Japan and play in their league because it's still like... It's still just a good league in there. And some MLB players did not make the Japan team that are, like, on an MLB roster. Mm -hmm. They didn't make cuts. Yeah. Like, which is just insane to think about. And it's not because, like, those Jap Japanese players are in Japan, so it'd be more like... Pro no, they're just not as good mm -hmm. as those players that are in Japan right now. I mean, you have all those Japanese players, but, you know, it always concerns me with Japanese players coming over to the MLB. I always think, like, you know, they were dominant in Japan, but will they be as good here? Mm -hmm. Like, um, Ichiro, of course, was... Uh, the new pitcher for the Mets, whatever Japanese guy they got. Oh, yeah. He's got a disgusting Seizu breaking Suzuki ball. Suzuki is very good. For the Cubs, yeah. yeah. Um, Shohei Otani, The Red Sox obviously. got someone. Of course, Shohei. Yeah. I mean, and then Lars Newbar. I didn't even know he was Japanese or whatever. But, yeah. I mean, hey, he's been playing really good, too. No, I think, honestly, Dominican, I, they're just such a good team. But I, I feel like that those teams fall apart. Mm-hmm. For some reason. I mean, obviously, Julio Rodriguez is good. Uh, Vladdy went down with an injury. That might be a big hit. They replaced him with uh, Jimmy Candelario. Am I right or wrong? I, I don't know, but... I thought it was Candelario. That's definitely going to be a hit, though. I mean, not having Vladdy is always big. You know, Vladdy, one of the Blue Jays' best players. One of the league's best players in general. Yeah. So, well, you're going to need him. And a surprising team, Australia. Coming out, beating Korea yeah. on that side of the peninsula. I mean, Korea loves the sport. But, I mean, they lost to a team who probably only about 2% of the population cared about that yeah. game. I mean, but Australia coming out, looking good. They swung the bat really well. They played pretty good defense all around. Mm -hmm. I think Australia played really well. I can see them going a pretty yeah. decent length. Let's talk about uh, USA against the Giants. They lost 5-1 to one against the Giants. I didn't really see the game, so I don't... I think they beat someone else, though. Yeah, they definitely probably beat uh, someone else. They have a really good team. They're, they're just probably getting together. They were probably trying a couple guys out. I don't think it's like, oh my gosh, USA is going to get bounced first round. No, I think they're going to at least get to the semifinals. They have a great team. Trey Turner, Nolan Arenado, Mike Trout. Pitching is a little suspect. Little suspect. But they do have some good guys in there, and I do think they will... Prevail. Yeah, you know, you have Mookie Betts leading off. Of oh, yeah. I was thinking maybe Trey Turner would lead off, but, I mean, they put Mookie Betts in that leadoff spot. Both guys, could lead, both guys could lead off. I mean, you could have a double leadoff, put Trey at nine yeah. if you wanted to. If you wanted to, yeah. But, um, you know, I think the decision is really good to put Mookie at the leadoff spot. He's been going crazy in the leadoff spot so far this spring training. He's got two or three home runs from that spot, so... um. You know, especially with Mike Trout being their captain. That's big experience right there. Big longevity from him. I think the big thing, again, is going to be him staying healthy, of yeah. course. I mean, you always need him to stay healthy. So you always want to keep your big guys. Like Shohei needs to stay healthy, too, yeah. for Jap Japan. Um, I don't really have much else to say about that. So mm. Yeah, all right. So now let's get into the trivia Yes. The, the trivia, trivia question. question was, who won the WBC in 2017? Great game. If you watched it, you know how great that game was. 8-0. to zero. And who won? 
the United, United States, States of America. <laughs> that that was, d- they beat Dominican Republic. Didn't beat they? Dominic- yes. No, okay. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. It was Puerto Rico. Because they had like the yeah, bleach yeah, yeah. hair. Everybody in Puerto Rico had it. And I just remember... Javi was peaking in his game. Yeah, that was... Oh, yeah, the tag, yes. the point. With Yachty, too. Great. I mean, uh, this WBC is even more hype than that one, so... Oh, yes. Yeah. So you have great star study. Yeah, you have great young players, too. Is O'Neal Cruz in? I don't think he is. I, I don't know. If he's not, O'Neal, if you're listening, which you're probably not, please do it. Yeah. We need you. We need more talent like O'Neal Cruz. Yeah. You know, I'll the show is dropping in a couple of w- weeks... I'm excited, man. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from video games, that will conclude our show for today. Um, thank you guys for watching and listening to the FC Sports Podcast. Kyle, any last anything to say real quick? Yes, folks. I did get a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle got a haircut. <laughs> My hair's the same as it was two weeks ago. And that will sign us off for now. See you guys next week for our last show before spring break. Goodbye.